everyone. I'm going to show you how to use a Google Form as a possible way to do assignment submissions with students using the upload file feature. So like any Google Form I use with a student to submit an assignment, I make sure they have their last name and first name. I always make these two separate questions because students never follow directions uh, to type their name in last name first so I can alphabetize in the Google Sheet later. Um, if you're using the same form with multiple class periods, I would recommend putting in a class period question so they can select what period they're in. And then if you're going to use this with multiple assignments, I would suggest putting in a question uh, which assignment they select which assignment they're doing. This will help with sorting in a spreadsheet later if you're using the spreadsheet to find student work. But I already have one question here, and so because I have multiple periods using this form, instead of creating a separate form for each class period, I've created one form and then I'm going to do upload options for each period. So I've already added one just to show you what it would look like, but I'm going to add another one so that I can show you how to do this. So you're going to go to the plus sign here, and I'm going to add a question, and I'm going to make sure that this is a file upload option. So to do that, I'm going to change from multiple choice by hitting this drop down and selecting file upload. So it gives me this option and I'm going to say period to upload and what my students will do from period two is upload to this question, but they'll leave the other ones blank, which means you have to take off required or else they won't be able to, you know, if period two tries to submit here and period one's required, they won't be able to submit the form when they're done. So going back to period two, I'm going to walk you through these options here. So if you select this radio dial, it opens an option here where you can only allow specific file types to be uploaded. So let's say you want a PDF for their project or whatever they're working on. So if you select PDF, it will only allow them to upload a PDF. But if you don't care what they upload, you can turn this radio dial off and it doesn't matter what file type they upload. This might be helpful if you're specifically asking for something, but if you're allowing them to go off and do whatever it is they want to to submit, then you would want to turn this off. You can also set the maximum number of files they upload. So what would be really nice here is if you were doing maybe a digital choice board, they could upload multiple files at one time. So maybe they have, um, maybe they did a tic-tac-toe and they have three files to upload to you because they did three different assignments. So you'd want to definitely set that so they could do all three at once. And then because videos and other things take up more space than others, you'll at least want to put it maybe at one gig. Um, but this form can accept a one terabyte of files. I changed that on the back end. So if you click change here, it takes you to your settings cog. And when you scroll to the bottom, you have this maximum size of all files uploaded. So this would be all your students at one time. So 100 gig, 10 gig, 1 gig. And the smaller you go, the smaller their file sizes need to be or the form will stop collecting responses. So I like to set this at the highest possible so I don't run into that issue. And save. If you don't change it here, you can always go up to your settings cog wheel and scroll to the bottom and you have that right here. So going back to the period to upload, so this, um, again, I don't want to require if I'm doing multiple submissions from different periods here. And once I'm done, what's really nice is when the students see this, I'm going to go into preview. They'll just see, you know, period two file upload. They'll click add file. They can drag and drop um, if they're on a laptop or Chromebook. If they're on an iPad, they can um, go through their drive or their files app in order to select what they want and upload. But what's really nice about this is now in my drive as the teacher, I'm going to go to the folder where it is. It gives me a folder for those submissions. So that Google form is called my assignment submission form. See right here. So it actually gave me a folder for those file uploads. And because I have multiple questions with multiple file uploads, it actually will separate it for me. And since I'm doing it by period, it makes it really nice so I can just click into this folder. I don't have anything in here yet, but all my period two student items will be in here. So that's how you do the uploaded file feature and find them by class period.